In June, after almost 100 days of quarantine, we decided to venture out on a staycation to Chicago. Because hotels in large cities are having a low occupancy, we were able to get a really great return on our Hilton points for a three-night stay at the London House, one of the hotels in their courier collection with a great location and wonderful views. So, we packed our luggage and, somewhat unsure of what would await us in terms of restaurants and even sundry items, we brought along a cooler with the expectation that we would be roughing it, albeit in style. After checking in, we put on our face masks and decided to walk over to Navy Pier, one of the few attractions that was open. So we're outside Navy Pier. We've made it, uh, we walked up, up, walked up Michigan Avenue and uh, we're just sitting outside Navy Pier. So the interior is closed. Down. Yeah, um, but we walked a lot. And walking with a mask on. With a mask on. on. <laughs> and trying to drink my coffee at the same time from the reserve. Yay. So, um, yeah, so a lot of the buildings themselves are, are closed, but uh, so but Navy Pier itself is open, but the interior is closed. So, and I just dropped my mask. There we go. Um, but it's nice to be out. It's wonderful, and it's a beautiful <laughs> day, and so grateful to be able to get away for a few days. Yeah. Yep. And the weather's weather's just beautiful. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're gonna relax a little bit look at uh, Navy Pier after a bit and then start uh, heading back towards the hotel. Yep. Navy Pier. Navy Pier is one of those places that it's, it's so easy to forget just how wonderful it is to come down here and, and just sit and you know just look out. You know, um, yes, there's an in, inside, which is over the, over the years, over the past couple of decades, they've done a lot of improvements. Um, it's still a little bit more commercial than I'd like it to be, but. Um, you know, just walking down here, whether you're walking up the lakeshore, um, uh, 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 walking up the river lake, walk. the, the lakeshore, or coming across via the, the river walk from the downtown area, it's just a, it's a nice place to come and sit. Um, so if you ever get the chance, especially now, now's the time to come. Not a lot of crowds out. I am a little bit disappointed that even though they have the signs that say that everyone here should be wearing their masks. Um, there are still some people that, that aren't, so make sure you're wearing yours. Walking um, around. I and feel by, like we're okay here just yeah. because we're sitting. And we do have our mask on, but it, it's it's unfortunate because I think part of the reason that they did open it was because they had that as one of the guide the guidelines. But you know what? 
if you have to come here and sit and smoke, just stay home. Honestly, you know, you're not helping anybody. Um, so anyways, Navy Pier, thumbs up. So we're at Landon Lake, Landon Lake um, which is right next to the hotel. And they have oh, outdoor, seating. outdoor seating. How long has it been since we've been in a restaurant? What, think, day, what day is your check-in? Everything's going to be five. Today was day 89 of checking in. And we haven't been to a restaurant since before that. Yeah. So it's been over three months yeah. since we've been to a restaurant. And we remember today has been like five months since we've since been we anywhere. traveled anywhere. So this is great. But but um, it's nice to have outdoor seating. Um, the menu is kind of neat. So instead of handing you menus and having to clean them, right. they actually just, they have a little card that they, they put out that's got a barcode on it. A QR code. A QR code. Yeah. And so you just take a picture with your camera and the menu shows up on your phone. You're a tech so, guy. What does a QR stand for? Um, you don't know? I don't know either. I don't have any idea. I just yeah. need to know off the top of your head. No, I, I get paid to to, Sorry. to bring put people in that know that stuff. So. <laughs> um, I'm Sorry, a, I really thought you'd know. I'm a sayer, not a doer. <laughs> I'm, I'm at that level now, where I just delegate to people. It's like I don't know, but I can find someone for 400 bucks an hour. I can tell you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So we're going to. Uh, we got an appetizer, mac and cheese coming out, and then uh, I've got a salmon burger and. A Reuben. You have a Reuben, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'll let you know how that is. It's good, huh? It was so good. Oh my goodness. Delicious. This mac and cheese has been delicious too. Mm. All right, it's a little windy out, but it's uh, what day three? Yes. Day three for us. Um, in the background, you can see we actually made it out to Lake Michigan. A um, little on the chilly side. It's really breezy. Definitely breezy. Windy city. But uh, it's nice being out. The sun is out. It's um, actually a really beautiful day. Yeah, the parks themselves are still closed, but it's nice to open up the lakefront here and uh, and everyone can kind of you know walk and people are keeping their, their social distance. A lot of joggers out, a lot of bikers out. Um, but like uh, the Grand Park area itself, where you have and where the Bean is, and uh, even right now we're right across from uh, Buckingham Fountain. All that area is all closed off. But it's, it's a great day to kind of get out and uh, let these bikes bikes go by us. But. Uh, yeah, so we're going to keep walking for a bit, just enjoying the afternoon and see what to make of it from here. But you know what? A staycation in Chicago, it's kind of hard to go wrong. Thumbs up. One of the ways we're able to kind of conserve where we spend our money so we spend on the things that are most important to us is that a lot of times we'll pack a lunch and we use it for our, our afternoon. So, you know, today we, you know, stopped before we left and picked up some pepperoni and... Uh, cheese. Cheese and... Peaches. Peaches and prosciutto and uh, just... Crackers. Crackers and just sat out here. Um, in the Riverwalk area in Chicago and just uh, enjoyed the sights, listened to a podcast and, and had a great lunch. And a spindrift. And spindrift, yes. <laughs>
So one of the things that makes Better Together travel stories uh, a pleasure for us is learning new things about each other. I'm in the elevator now going down to pick up food because I never knew Stephanie's never had room service before. Obviously room service isn't going on right now, but the broader um, surprise that she's never had like food delivered to her in her room. So that's what I'm doing today. I had gone up to the room. I had come down earlier and realized I had forgotten my mask. So I came back down and, and, and got that. So just sitting here in the lobby, waiting for Grubhub to, to arrive. And I'll take it back upstairs. The other nice thing is that the room does have Chromecast. So we're able to actually watch shows from our phone or tablets directly on the large 65 inch TVs, which is great. So we're going to kind of uh, literally Netflix and chill in the room this evening after having just a great day out. We're on a boat. We are on a boat. We are on a boat. On the river. On the river. So a staycation gives you a chance to really explore even your own city are cities around you that you may have perhaps taken for granted. Yeah. For example, I didn't know that you had never had room service. Nope. Right? And um, for as long as we've, we've lived here, we've never taken a river cruise. Nope. I took one years ago, but today we're taking the Wendellas, a 90 minute architectural tour. And so we'll share some of those sites with you. But again, just one of those great things about a vacation that helps you to kind of, you know, experience where you live a little bit more. Okay. All right. Here we are. So we're in the last, the last fleeting moments of our staycation. Home stretch. Home stretch. And we decided to end it, as you can hear, There's the home. on the north side of Chicago. You can kind of see back here. The Chicago L train. Um, we're up in the, the Lincoln Square area. Just to kind of hang out for a bit before we before we uh, you know we drive the 40 minutes back to back to home. So um, it's not Barcelona, 
It's not Colombia. It's not Paris. It's definitely not London. But you know what? Once you get outside of your own house <laughs> and you even drive for us, you know, 30 miles away, mm -hmm. um, it's, it is a vacation. For sure. And we experienced some things in Chicago and grew in our appreciation of our own city. Yes, definitely. I, the architectural tour, honestly, the architecture reminded me quite a bit of the river tour that we took when we were in France. Yes. If I just will take a moment and suspend the knowledge that I've been in Chicago so many times and just appreciate the history and the beauty that's there. So what I did was I just placed myself as though I was visiting the city for the first time mentally and just allowed myself to look at it with fresh perspective. No, I could no how I could tell you were doing that? No. This. <laughs> that's the sign of the tourist, right? Yeah. It's true. I did. I looked, I looked all around and just really took in what the city had to offer during that tour. Yeah. Now, I haven't been to Chicago nearly as much as you have, so a lot of it's new for me anyway. You want to hear something funny? Today, Chris was like, you lead the way. And I led us down so many dead ends. It was hilarious. But that's how you learn. And you know what? you give me something like that to do we'll just keep walking until yeah. we find something or chris will take back over because he actually knows the area so it actually works out better for chris to be the tour guide but you know we just it we, was still fun we ended <laughs> Af afterwards it was still fun in hindsight it was fun we ended up in so many places. watch for it. better together life stories <laughs> coming soon <laughs> it was it was good though I think it yeah. was it was interesting because you know from our hotel room we could see the lake and so I thought the most direct way to get there would be go, go straight out and, take a right <laughs> and just go down to the lake but when you go out and take a right you can see the lake but you yeah. cannot get there it's not like Colombia it's not like um, um, uh, Cartagena where it's like oh we just walk we just take the elevator down and we go across the street and there's the beach. No, no, no. Not even close. <laughs> needed to get out and about and um, Navy Pier and the river tour and um, just coming to Lincoln Park all Lincoln Square that's it Lincoln Square coming to Lincoln Square coming soon to a theater near you and we've talked so often about we want to come down and spend a few days just in the city and never have done it because we're always was, jetting, jetting around off someplace, someplace else. else yeah so this has really helped us to make it a priority. Yes. And it has been a super trip. It has. Great idea, sweetie. Thanks. Thanks for making it happen. You're welcome. All right, so yeah. We're going to pack our things up, mm -hmm. start heading back. Well, I think we're gonna eat first. You were gonna eat first. And then, uh, then we'll, we'll sit down and run the numbers for them and let them know what this, how much this costs. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, bye.